that spinny thing is the tabletop for my kids' playroom. And you cut it into a circle. With a reciprocating saw. So, <laughs> mad skills, bro. It's Tuesday, you know what that means. It's Beat of the Week. My name is Chapter, and I have gathered for your consideration a room full of dope ass rappers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. I picked three beats tonight, and we're gonna spin a wheel, randomly decide which beat. We're gonna take one hour and write, and then we're gonna spin it live to a panel of judges. That's you guys, live on Instagram and Facebook, and you guys get to decide which one of these guys is hot. If you're listening to this right now, that means the track's already dropped, so go down to the link in the description. But right now, I'm gonna give you all the behind the scenes. You get to watch how we make the beat. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, without further ado, I bring you Beat of the Week. Let's get it. Erase him off of nine and put him on to eight and take nine. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure all your Sarah fans see me go before you. It's alright. I'm talking to your grandma after this. You wanna hear some beats? Hi. Right. Yeah. My name is Uncle Jake. Welcome to Beat of the Week. Last week we did RB. This week's theme is Boom Bap. Oh, boom yo, Bap, bro? It's Boom Bap week. Oh, Shakespeare's got this in Oh, Shakespeare is gonna get roasted by your mans, bro. Yeah. <laughs> boom Bap week, it's over. Yes, already. This is the first beat. Boom bap night. Did you miss it? It's boom bap night. This is beat number three. We need somebody to spin the wheel. We need a newbie to spin the wheel. We got a newbie here, all right? Oh, yes. Woo! Two, right. two. Get it on the red. One's all right. Give me two. Give me two. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> Beat number one. The theme tonight is Boom Bap Night, and the topic is I'm back. Let's see what these rappers can do. Are you happy, Shakespeare? Oh, yeah. Someone's in trouble. <laughs> more, a lot more like lyrical little, 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 little kind of thing, you know. I'm here with Uncle Jake. Hello. You didn't win last week. What happened? No, I did not. Last week, to be honest, it was a really good verse. Me and Bozo both had pretty good verses. They yeah. both meant a lot to us, but that may have been what it was. We just liked our verses like like that, and the uh, crowd wasn't feeling us. We got we got the blue and the red. Why? Why ask me? Why do we have blue and red? Because uh, R.I.P. Nipsey. R.I.P. Nipsey. Boom bap week. What do you what do you bring into the table? Um. These guys, they they think that uh, I don't like boom bap because I never said nothing about it before. Mm. Want to know how I got good at rapping? I, there was an hour long boom bap mix on YouTube, and me and my friends would just play that over and over for like two summers straight, <laughs> and just freestyle on it. Like, it was just like thirty different boom bap songs. That and would like that would do I it. I swear, this one sounds like exactly like every every one of them, not just other one, boom pretty bap much every song other ever. What do you think we're doing here collectively in Calgary? to kind of contribute to the way the culture is shifting. Well, we're doing everything we can. It's kind of up to the rest of Calgary to catch on to our train. Like, well, you, you guys don't see what we're doing every single day. We're letting people know just today, one of my homeboys, Cash Coley, shout out, his shit got canceled. His concert got canceled at a strip club. Why did it get canceled? Because insurance would not cover it because it was a hip hop show. What does that tell you? We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work we to do. We got a lot of work. I think we'll the there. important part is documenting what we're doing and just sharing yep. with the world and just letting them know like this is how, this is how, what hip hop really is. How's my stupid hair? You look great, man. <laughs> Young Poppy Bonito. Yeah, it's me. What happened last week? Honestly, man, fucking, like, still sounded good, I thought. I went back and watched it. It still sounded good, but I didn't deliver my verse the way I wanted to. Everybody was writing. I heard you spitting, and I'm like, man, people better look out, because... Yeah, it was, it was pretty sick. I just when it was didn't on deliver point. It. I didn't deliver it the way I wanted to. That happens, man. I'm not really that worried about it. Like, 
No. What, what are you doing to recover? How, what are we doing this week? Uh, well, you came back with Boom Bop, which is uh, directly in my fucking element. So, like, I'm now going to destroy this. This is, like, one of my top three verses. It's going to be sick. Like, I finished writing it in, like, ten minutes. It just came to me like this. And when it's in your lane, it really feels, like, Bro, it was way cold. easier. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is, like, this is, I'm bringing the sauce. Like, I'm the sauce boss. Like, sauce god in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here. I'm, I'm beating Seraphin. I'm beating Uncle Jake. I'm beating Red Rook. It doesn't matter. Who you put on the ladder, like I am the greatest, like I'm the best, like it's over. That was me impersonating Uncle Jake. <laughs> Stevie J, RB night, bro, you fucking killed it. To be honest, I thought I, I thought it should be topic. This week is Boom Bap Week, which I kind of feel like still might be a little bit in your lane. Kind of out of my lane. It's not really what I've listened to in the past, but okay. I feel like I can still approach it with a this attitude. It does. Are you gonna take the melodic route or are you trying to go back to that rapping? Probably thing? melodic. Just yeah, you're gonna... I want to keep it every week, the same melodic so. Honestly, just when I, I just keep growing as I grow, like come, coming every, it's every beat of the week that I come to, I just keep growing from that. Yeah, so yeah. I just keep, keep things from the past week and then bring it into the next one. So I'm with PH in the building. Let's go. So what's your style? What do you do? You rap? You sing? What are you doing? I actually got brought into the world from the management side of it and the business side of it, but uh, blessed enough to learn uh, production from organics and learn rapping. So I've been developing as a rapper and singing for a minute. What yeah. kind of pushed you over to, to try and experiment with the rap thing? I'm an, I'm an actor. Okay, yeah. So the blessings of just having a voice and training the voice, when I had the opportunity to become an apprentice of uh, Black Toven, who happens to be a yeah. dog pound gang, so DPG for life. It was just an opportunity to really venture and really explore that idea of what it meant to be an artist. So rapping and being poetic and being published as a poet yeah. was a fun transition just to challenge myself. Like I started this late in the game, so like I've been in it for about four or five years now. And uh, let's just say that I'm blessed. I got work coming out and just like this inner working of the industry is a blessing. And the way that the industry has shifted, yeah. gi giving the power back to the people that are the creatives. Shout is out Kanye West. <laughs> really in the corporate world, a lot of things are changing. So independent marketing is key. People forget branding and that's where the money's really being made. Nowadays, authenticity. For the most part, we've kind of wised up to the tricks, right? So that authenticity yeah. is more important these there days. There was a reason why Justin Bieber got in prison and Chris Brown did that, some <laughs> that stuff. The reality is attention. So tonight, do you think you're gonna get everybody's attention with what you're writing? Uh, of course, jumped in there and uh, just got that vibe right away. So I have some, some clean bars, but I'm more of a soulful guy and I definitely talk more about uh, inspiration and the self demons. I'm here with Tree. <laughs> <laughs> you made it on the track last week. How did that feel? Surprising, I didn't expect to make it on, but you know. It speaks a lot to the energy that you bring to the room. When you come in, when you perform, you're gonna do well. So how did that play to your strength? Um. I felt nerves, like, I was riding the bus up here, I'm like, oh shit, I don't know if I should rap or not, and it's like, you know what, I'm going, might as well. Still to this day, every happen? day I get in front of that live, oh, you know, yeah. the heart's going, you're like, yeah, oh, yo, yeah. you gotta take a few breaths. I can see like about two feet in front of my face right now, I'm just gonna look at my phone and I'm gonna hope for the best, you know, see what happens, and it turned out. It was an R&B theme last week, this week we're keeping the themes rolling, we're doing yeah. boom bap, how does that play to your favor? I like to think I'm really good at boom bap, um, that's a whole bunch of the stuff I like, like, grew up listening to like I, like, yeah. I got a fucking shirt on hey how appropriate <laughs> it's great that we're bringing something modern I think it's nice to acknowledge the roots but at the same time I think it's great that we're bringing a new sound but still representing and paying homage to the classics you know it's a challenge but we'll work with it we'll see what we can come up with you know yeah, I'm gonna start that. with hey what's up with Nana Nana's good, man. Shout out Nana. She's your number one fan, it looks like. She introduced me to music at a young age, so, you know, sometimes I feel like she might be living vicariously through me. You made it on the track last week. In fact, number one, took home the belt. It was good. Felt good. Felt cool. Where did you get the that energy to write something like that? I just, you know, I just came from how I think it should sound. Like, when I write this song, it's just like, how would I... How would I want to hear this on the radio? So I kind of came with like a little, like that little Nas X reference. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. Still my favorite bar of all time. Like the Saddle Dome part. I can go into depth about what all that means. I like how you use um, innuendo more than metaphor. Like a lot of guys like to do similes and metaphors and shit like that, but you take it to a whole nother level. Where does that come from? I just, that's just what I do. I just I'm never big on metaphors and shit. Like I once in a while have a metaphor, but. Yeah, that's just more of my style. I used to go by abstract, so I like uh, that, came, that came from like me just like my ability to freestyle on the spot. But now I'm like I just own my last name and just like it's me. It's 
my homie Element, shout out to Free 99 Element out there. Um, he really is the one that got me into production. Like I showed him some of my beats and he was like, yo, your beats are fire. I want to rap on that. And I was like, nah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we like, Usually we ended up, he ended up becoming like a big bro to me and he was always big on boom bap and we'd always create those like hard hitting like boom bap tracks. So. No, I just got a, I got a little shout out for him tonight in my verse. This guy on the hook for Caldo. Oh, if dude, you haven't heard yeah, of him, you need to go check yeah, it out. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna breathe on anybody for the next 10 minutes until I go brush my teeth. You know you get self-conscious about it and all of a sudden you're just aware. It's like my breath smells like cat shit. Uh, are we on? I'm here with Bozo Sapien. Last week was R&B week. You brought some melodies to it, some real world experience. How did that go over for you? I thought I nailed my verse last week. I got some respect from some local artists. They mentioned to me that they fucked with it heavy. I like, you know, knowing that other artists respect what I'm doing, whether or not I win. Like, and you know, you had an opportunity to be vulnerable and actually speak on something that was important to you. That's right, yeah. Which not a lot of people are afforded that opportunity. Yeah, it helps to release it, to have a form of like self-expression to cope with some stuff, you know, that you're going through. But yeah, this week the topic is I'm back. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I am back, you know, coming back, trying to keep my chin up, you know, regardless of what life throws my way. You're really trying to make that comeback now, so you're going to go stick to your original uh, zany character? You know, I grew up on boom bap, this beat, if you can hear in the background, it's a boom bap beat, and I got mad blows for it, so, we'll see. <laughs> He's just sick. <laughs> Was it Creasy? Creasy. 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 Like a crease? Okay. Yeah, like crease, or you can go like crease. greasy, go but crease. like creasy. Like, yeah. With a C instead of a G. Yeah, yeah creasy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Call me the greasy creasy when you put me on the rugby pitch, dude. You guys can't catch me. I'm here with Creasy. It's your first time here. Yeah. yeah. So I found another virgin. Uh, I don't think they're ready for this virgin, though. No? Well, what are you bringing to the table? Um, like, I don't want to say, like, I'm that good, but like I feel like I've got a good bearing on my potential and where I'm at right now And I feel like coming to places like this are really gonna showcase it I don't want to hype myself up and then get in there and choke. Right, but right, I'm right, you, right. I'm letting you know though. You're like, humbly you're confident. Ready. You're not ready. You're, you're humbly like confident. See I had one guy like this before. He came through, he was super quiet, just kind of hid in the corner. Then he came out, big voice. Shout out Selly, he knows who he is. We're, we're doing these themes now. Mm -hmm. Last week was R&B, tonight is Boom Bap. The theme also on top of Boom Bap is I'm back. I don't really have like like a specific style of beat that I like more than the other. Okay, like you just yeah. give me something to rap on and I'll try and write some shit. I'll say some shit to you. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the ultimate goal. So like really, I'm just going off of I'm back. So I'm kind of just trying to let you know like, I've been kind of playing it low for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But I'm back. But right now, now you're back. back. I'm about to kill it today and you guys are about to see it. <laughs> okay. I actually have to say words. I gotta say words. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm here with Jay Doses. What up, what up? We go, we here. go back a little bit. Um, yeah. we've, we've already worked on a project together, so I know what you do. But tell the people what you do. What's your style? What's your thing? Well, I'm actually pretty stoked for this boom bap night. Like, I didn't know I was walking into this and I walked in. So, <laughs> definitely some like old school, like New York boom bap, like Brooklyn boom bap. I love that stuff. I don't know, like new school logic, you know, with his kind of boom bap up and coming, like new age, I guess you could say. Not not so old school. Like J. Cole, Mac Miller, Mac that kind of like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, with the boom bap. Definitely J. Cole for sure. You have a lot of competition. You're new to Beat of the Week. Yeah. Yeah, is that time. intimidating? Not exactly intimidating, but uh, yeah, like the, the whole concept I'm really excited for and I think everybody has like a mutual respect in there and we're all just trying to have fun. We're all just trying to write good music, write a good verse, have some fun with it, hopefully. Really learn and grow it. from each yeah, other. Yeah, learn and grow, yeah, definitely like, it's it's a fun competition I feel, even from watching, this is my first time here, but from watching it uh, through the lives and just the posts and stuff, just seems like a friendly competition. Healthy rivalry. Definitely, yeah. not like petty competition. Something that helps you get better, yeah, just at least exactly. pushes you outside of your boundary exactly, to do something exactly. bigger. You know, like just because you feel like, you know, obviously we're all human, so we feel that other people are better than us, or, you know, we could be better. I feel lots of artists will take that to improve instead of back down and kind of, you know, all right, well, yeah, my, yeah, exactly. This is my level, that's their level. It's like, hey, well, I want to be on their level. You so know? what are you doing tonight with what you're writing um, that's going to push you outside of your comfort zone so that you can grow? I like to rap on any beat, you know, if I could sing better, I'd sing over beats, but uh, I'm really just trying to hit those, you know, that it's boom bap, so I'm really trying to hit that beat. 
and pull out the punch lines, pull that kind of thing. Exactly. That's yeah. A lot of I'm. You know, I I've always kind of been a like class clown or comedian or something like that. So yeah, yeah. you'll see in my music as it slowly comes out, and especially in this verse, you know, just little funny things, but as well as some serious stuff. Kind of like you know, that's what I feel like Mac Miller always did, and a few other like even Eminem takes serious stuff and you kind of mix bad stuff and it just yeah, you find the light in all the, of it <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. like you know like it's okay to laugh at ourselves sometimes yeah, yeah exactly yeah we're yeah. only human yeah puns are the best too we're about to go live wow that's really loud what's up bro where you been all night oh right go to the beat of the um uh, writing bars why don't we look at the screen not the camera but i don't know yeah look at this camera not the screen because i'm a narcissist and i might love myself a little bit Excuse me, about to drop an album like a roofie I heard that you dropped, but your album isn't moving I could be something, I swear I could start in the movies Chilling by the pool, and I just marvel at the beauty uh, I'm the king of the room, and I'll never move I'm a grown-ass man, you a grown-ass goof My hoe on the gram, but she never post new I'm a classy-ass rapper, I stab her in the rapper No laugh until the chapter gives a bell to the master, yeah I'm a true as forget, now what's your rap this shit? This devil come from the north, and I make you fuck Hit a sacrifice to the find the paradise. Uh, tears I had away once I was dead about the fuck. Say to myself, let the emotion back inside me. You already published feelings, I can share my life shit. Line spark visions of humble beginnings. That's why I left the city, now I'm back to make you kill it. Uh, caught up with the superstitions, is it a curse? Accepting your ambitions, it's not making it work. Mm -hmm. The results are in. Ladies and gentlemen. The results are in. Artists, guests, viewers. The results. The results are in. The results are in. The results are in. Results are in. Are y'all ready? I'm not going to name any of the runners up just like before. It's going to be one, two, three. If you didn't hear your name, sorry. Number three on the track, placing third. We got a new winner, Creasy. Woo! <laughs> there we go, there we go, there we go. Coming in number two. On the track, what? Uncle Jake. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, hey. uh, <laughs> number one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Beat of the Week champion, number one with 80% of the vote, Young Poppy Monique! <laughs> 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 Congratulations, fucking lady! 
Congratulations! He heard it was boob out night and he called it instantly. He's like, oh, it's fun. He didn't write shit, he didn't write shit and he called it. I said it on mention. I said it on mention. All right, you guys want to get to work or what? A young idiot, but I'm grown up now. I guess that means I'm supposed to give a fuck now. Old people tell me I should give it up now. I tell them, uh. Sit the fuck down, my life kinda Give me for this rapping shit, my mom and pop gone But that is just a half of it To me it seems like life's like the fuck you with the half a dick When it's really just an average six Honestly man, I've had this shit, uh But really I'm fucking battling all of these bad habits And wonder if I can handle it Underdog in the lab again, lost in pants Labyrinth, a couple cold of cancer sticks I'm showtime with the blunt, pass it like I'm fucking magic Bitch, I hold this shit, I'm cancerous Somebody fucking cancel him, somebody fucking answer him I'm crying out for help, back to feeling high so I'm dying just to melt ESL to ECW, bitch, I'm dying for the belt Time waits for no man Find greatness, no path Time's wasted, who left? They praise like I'm back But I've been doing my thing I've been doing my thing, yeah I've been doing it, babe Gimmicks and what are you? I'm back, count stacks. How I ever let myself lose? I would never subtweet on the gram about a dude. Not a fan of the truth. I can see it in your eyes. No spine, no loot. No crying in the booth. You a lie. I'm the king of the room. Man, I'll never move. I'm a grown ass man. You a grown ass goof. My hoe on a gram, but she never posts nudes. I'm a classy ass rapper. High stature in the rafters. No laughter till chapter gives a belt to the master. I'm clean. I don't really much trap no more. You need a sign on my press. I got hazardous flow I got green bruise banner in my satchel It's a fault you wanna rhyme You a peasant, I'm the man in control Spitting nonsense, felt my content Yeah, I'm content that we ain't friends Just don't make sense Why you even here, man? Time waits for no man Find greatness, no path Time's wasting, who's left? They praise like I'm back But I've been doing my thing yeah. I've been doing my thing I've been doing it big, yeah. I've been doing my thing. I was there for a minute, but I'm back. I was just a young man raising Chilliwack. Only thing I learned was to pick up all the slack. Cause when I did it, Poppy burst in and gave me the smack. Whack. Honestly, I wish it would be fine. But now I look back, only seeing wasted time. Spent too long trying to balance on the line. Now the only thing I do is kill a fucking rhyme. I'm back, the track they made ain't ready. The voice so smooth and the boys come steady. Y'all talk shit, that's cause y'all so petty. I feel calm, but your palms look sweaty. I just hope you understand. I don't give a fuck about you or your plan. I really hope you understand. Once the shit done, y'all be calling me the fucking man. Damn. Time waits for no man. Find greatness, no path. Time's wasting, who's left? They praise like I'm back, but I've been doing my thing. Yeah, I've been doing my thing. I've been doing it, babe.